All right, hey, what's up guys? So today let's talk about alternate ways to carrying an AR mag. Now, there, there are tons of people out there that are gonna like scoff at this and be like, well, you could just shove it in your pocket. You can, it is totally allowed. I'm totally down for that. But as always, I'm trying to find an optimal way of doing things versus just the, the easiest way, right? Like, let me, let me try an optimal way and what can enhance that and also, it may just not be just a pocket for you. It may be something that you keep in there so you don't want to throw mags in there or something like that. So let's talk about alternate ways of carrying a mag depending on the time frame you have, situation, environment, all the other things that are dictated by what you're doing in life and why you would have to use any of this. Now, the majority of the time, most of us probably look and we're like, all right, cool, I use my belt system. Sweet, that works. But if you had to like not carry an AR mag on there because of policies, or because of other reasons or whatever, yeah, that's the most optimal. And then we start dragging away from that. So when it's not your first line or second line kit, like how can we carry other mags or enhance ourselves? So as civilians, sometimes a pocket is your best route. Uh, sometimes when hunting, maybe you want something a little bit more robust, whatever it is, it depends on what you're doing once again. So let's start from the most minimal and go all the way up. So starting out, mag in the pocket right so mag in the pocket is fine but why not enhance it a little bit more and i use these little guys called cry clips and they're made by cry precision it's probably the cheapest product they actually make everything else is overly expensive and is good but it's expensive so the the cry clip is something that comes in a three pack i think they're like 30 40 bucks something like that and they are fantastic they bolt on pretty well to p mags if you put it on a metal mag, make sure you duct tape or 100 mile per hour tape the bottom portion where you're gonna attach it and then attach it to that. That way it doesn't slide around because it tends to slide a little bit. Now, other than that, these are awesome. Uh, what's really cool about it is it acts like a pocket clip for your mags and I'll B-roll some stuff in here to show you guys how it works, um, but literally just slides in, clips to the pocket, sweet. You could do it the other way and just have it clipped outside of the pocket, but it could snag on other things. And I prefer not to clip things outside of my pants. I rather clip them into or onto my pants from, uh, from being inside the pocket. So just an option, really good one. Now scaling up a little bit, putting a pouch on or a mag pouch on in, in a quick succession or in something that's gonna, uh, gonna help you out and actually enhance you being able to actually draw mags similar to how you keep it on your rifle or on your belt is gonna be something like this, where I have my defense mechanisms pouch and I even went further and enhanced it further with one of my dump pouches. And the defense mechanisms pouches, they just work with one wrap. And the one wrap, obviously once you loop it around your belt, now you have a belt loop and you can keep it as tight as you want so it doesn't rattle around or wiggle. It's actually really cool so you could scale it to wider belts, so two inches all the way down to one inch belts. And it won't matter because it's just one wrap, it just wraps all the way around it. So once you loosen your belt, you slap it on, you tighten your belt, good to go. And you, once again, you have enhanced it with a dump pouch if you do something like that as well. So, which doesn't interfere with the pouch, which is exactly why uh, that was the design to them. So, just something to think about. And, uh, and as always, like the dump pouches are available on my website. So going further, right? Another mag pouch or a different kind of mag pouch and ignore the cry clip. I, I wouldn't use them both in conjunction or you could, don't matter. But here's an STAC Kiwi. This is one of my army ones from, from when I was uh, using them. It is dirty as hell. So it's a darker multicam, but it's, uh, it's lasted really long and it's still doing really well. The, the only downside to them is that because they don't compress because of the kydex inside them that keep them kind of at their shape, um, it is good and it is bad for some people. You can add more if you have the molly style ones and do even more with one pouch if you wanted. Um, but with that, I also put a dump pouch on here because I can. And then two, I use uh, Guardian Warrior Solutions, Guardian Warrior Solutions uh, Raptor adapter to <laughs> Dr. Seuss style um, to attach a tech lock on it. And that's what keeps everything together really well. And it's not, not a thick uh, system and it works really well. And tech locks, as you know, you can slap them onto almost anything, including other Molly objects. So if you wanted to, you could keep this in a bag or 
with your rifle and then go from there. It's actually really, really sweet. And it's the same way I would use defense mechanisms one, just a little bit thicker of a profile if you look at them. So in conjunction next to each other, one's a little thinner, one's a little thicker, but depends on what you want. Options. Furthermore, you can scale that up even more and you can go into what would be like a fanny pack or like a shoulder kind of style, um, over, over the shoulder style, like bandolier kind of thing. So I use this long tucky supply uh, fanny pack, which is really sweet. I actually really like it. And I use it with the little mag pouches they have that are associated with them. And it's just in the back here, there's just a pocket on the fanny pack, like an extension on the back end. Uh, that allows you to put mags and stuff like that. It's a really sweet system. Um, I use it like a fanny pack, but you could also wrap it over a shoulder and go across body or just hold it over one shoulder and rock on. Um, it's a little bit more, but it's really quick to grab and you can carry medical with it. Not that you couldn't just stuff one of these dump pouches with more medical. You definitely could and there's pockets in there that you could do and then you could cinch it up and then you have the whole system here but you could also do that with a fanny pack um, that gives you that option and magazine options and possibly a water option but i'll do a full like overview of this uh fanny pack in a different video now lastly uh before we get into chess rigs is actually using a part of a chess rig like so ish and you go ahead and you put the other ends so the female ends on the actual chest rig and you can reverse it or you take that waist strap to a chest rig and that's what you go ahead and reverse if you wanted it doesn't matter it's just the clip it's just whichever one you want to put on there but that clip now you can make this bad boy into a bandolier and once again carry mags carry medical medical and you could do quite a bit with it as well and, and it's you know add more to it as much as you want so there's there's tons of things you can do with these kind of this kind of stuff especially if you have spare chest rigs sitting around or chest placards sitting around and then from up from here it goes to a full-on chest rig and from there it goes on to a full-on like a split rig style or an actual plate carrier you can scale this up all you want and as far as you want and it's just dictated by what you're doing and what your purpose is right what you're what you're trying to accomplish but I would say the simplest ones, right, like this, are something I'll do most of the time. And if, if you've ever been to a class where we're doing force on force, or not force on force, but uh, UTM stuff, and I'm using a rifle, most likely if I'm not wearing full kit, I have one of the UTM mags with a cry clip in my pocket. It's a simple way of carrying a, an extra mag without having to use a pouch or anything fancy. So just things to, to think about, guys, just different options. Hopefully this helps kind of narrow some things down. If you have questions, go ahead and put them below. Um, and if I don't get to them, just email me if I haven't gotten to you and uh, I'll try and get to you from there. So I hope this helps guys. Take care.